Hello, fellow designers. We've created a new iPhone app icon mock-up project for Figma. This includes an icon screen generator with various styles, 10 iPhone mock-ups, and 10 ready-to-use app icon mock-up scenes. Everything is fully editable in Figma using the Artboard Mockups plugin. Let's play around. When you open the project, navigate to the left side. You will see your icon component. Place your icon design inside of it. In this tutorial, we are using Duolingo icon as example in the memory of Duo. Be sure you make the icon size 60 to 60 pixels because this is iPhone's standard icon size. Center the icon inside the component. And now in the next component, you will see your app text layer. Change the text as you like. Now as you see, your icon and app name updated in all variants. You have different icon listing variants and one main phone screens component. You can select the icons in this main component and change the styles from variants menu on the right side. You can choose from standard Apple icons, only your icon, dark icons, and stroke icons options. Now, if you are done with choosing the best style for your app icon, it is time to make mockups for it. You just need to double click and select the mockup frame, right click and open Artboard Mockups plugin. Hit the render button and place your design on the iPhone screen. There you go, your icon design already rendered. Additionally, you can choose light screen variant if you want to render the light screen design. Whenever you make a change on screen design or icon, you need to render again to place the latest version. And be sure you are choosing the mockup frame. Otherwise, the button will not be active. So, if you go all over to right side of the canvas, you will see same mockup items placed in frames. These are just copies of the same mockups. And once you make a change on the mockup item, it will also render it in these frames. Now repeat the steps again. Go to the mockups part, change the light screen to dark screen design since we are using the dark phone mockups. This time, try other icon variations like your app icon with other Apple app icons. Select the mockup frame, right click, and open Artboard Mockups plugin and render the design. It is entirely up to you to choose which style based on your icon. After I render the new design, again going to ready made scene frames, and my update already applied in real time. By default, we have used simple light and dark colors as screen wallpapers. You can place any image here or apply any color or gradient. For that, I am choosing Home Screen Frame and choosing gradients from the Fill section. Again, rendering the new update with Artboard Mockups plugin on the iPhone screen. Let's try another mockup. I will go with this one. It shows the dock closer with this perspective. Each iPhone mockup has their own assigned frame, and once you make a change in the main components, you need to render the changes for each mockup item. Again, if I go to right side mockup scene frames, my change is already applied here too. For the dock icon section, we also have style variants. You can choose Apple icons and your icon next to each other only single app icon or blank and stroke icon options. Again, do not forget to render the updates on the mock-up item. It sounds very repetitive for now, but you got the point. Now let's say you want to create your own design with any of the mock-up items here, but you want to keep the component system and want to edit with a copy of instead of the original one. Just copy the main component any empty space in your canvas and turn off the hide option in the variants menu. Now you can place this new copy anywhere you want it will keep rendering your updates once you make a change in the main screen design. This way you can create as many copies as you need to make your presentation automated. If I make a change on the screen design, now it will update same mockup item in three different places. All I need to render the main iPhone mockup with Artboard Mockups plugin again. Now it is your turn. You can find the Figma community project link in the description below. Bye.